All right, so um, I'm hoping at least at the bare minimum I can get the um, the Russian move done in in this here. And I also think a, there's probably going to be a bit uh, some combat along here. Um, yeah, I'm at 0 0.5 magnification. At least this way I can get the whole map in. Um, and uh, I'll see if I can like zoom in once we get into a specific spot. There is a couple of things I uh, forgot to mention, and I'm glad I looked it up again. Uh, it, it's uh, one of them's in the errata or the addenda as they call it um and this is really important i didn't uh, realize is the uh german units may not move outside of east prussia for the first 10 game turns that's a third of the game uh they may move on to border hexes though uh and what was the other thing that i wanted to mention that i forgot about um, it seems like i forgot about it again uh darn it was it about stacking um opposing units may never be stacked together in the same hex we know that uh inverted units um oh yeah i think it's um i've got to remember that um once uh, the russian units do become adjacent the uh the german ones will be flipped over and they remain that way as long as there's someone adjacent. I mean, they can be flipped back. Oh, yes, this is the biggie. That's the biggie. Is that reinforcements... Um, where do they mention it here? And I was like, oh my gosh, okay, I didn't know that. I forgot. Oh, yes, both sides receive reinforcements during the course of the game. Reinforcements are received at the beginning of the movement phase before any movement takes place. They move and fight that turn. Ah, this is the kicker, though. Reinforcements may be voluntarily withheld or delayed. If a unit assigned entrance is occupied by an enemy unit, it may not enter until the hex is recaptured. The units which appear as reinforcements, the turn they arrive, and the hex in which they appear is found on the turn record track. German reinforcements may use rail movement in, this, in the phase they appear. There are no replacements in the game. All right, so those are two biggies for me. I was uh, looking. Uh, I was like, "Oh my gosh, I've got to remember that." So here we go for the um, opening moves for the Russians. Uh, I'm just going to say right off the bat, the way I normally play the Russians, at least uh, for World War One games in 1914, that's basically all the experience I have. Is I'm cocky with them, uh, the way I've always viewed it. I got to remember not to touch the the thing here. Um, I've said to Rob, uh, to, I'm just going to blurt it out here. They're a pain in the ass both ways. They're a pain in the ass because of their constraints to play. And they're also a pain in the ass to play against, I find anyways, because there's just so many of them. And, and so I just find if I go with that attitude, I tend to, well, I've, I've won this game, minor Russian minor victory three times in a row. The last one though was close. Um, it was a bit of a, more of a toss up. <clears throat> Sorry. Excuse me. So, We'll see, as well as I'm now noticing, it's been several months since I've played this game. And my game experience with other stuff, um, I'm already seeing so many other things I just didn't see before. So it's going to be fascinating to see how, I'm, as well as that I'm doing the his, more of an, a historical approach with the Germans. In other words, I'm focusing on the second army, not on the first, leaving a bunch of little guys up there. Um, it'll be interesting to see how this plays out uh, with my new understanding, uh, I guess you want to call it that, as well as doing the historical approach. That being said, when I look now uh, from the Russian perspective, I personally feel already uh, that I'm in a minor victory spot. It's minor. It's mine to lose. Um, I think the Germans are trying to fight to see even if they can get a minor victory. I think I'm in a great shape, and I know there's 30 turns. What are you talking about? Um, reason being, there's a gaping hole here. Gaping hole. I, I understand that as um, soon as the cavalry cross the border and every single time they run into a rail uh, unit, uh, it's essentially going to be, um, <clears throat> excuse me, like running into the Landstrom and that they have to stop for that turn. So yes, it's going to slow me down. That being said, I'm already on the hunt to try to cut off their supply lines and or reinforcement spots. Hey man, this is this type of, I'm not saying it's a gamey game, but it's that type of game. That, this is the way I look at it. It's, uh, I would say, 
more border, you know, I'm not, I would say it's more game than simulation. How's that? And this is more of a game, like I said before, uh, a game I would love to play in an afternoon with somebody. It would be fantastic. Um, oh, geez, maybe I can do this for my first year birthday. That would be cool. Because it's a simple enough uh, uh, game that I could maybe... Anyways, that's beyond, uh, beside the point. All right, so here we go. So like I said, I'm going to try to, as the Russians, I'm going to try to swing the cavalry over here. Um, what did it say about my... I was restricted, I think. Um for the first six, oh, it's for the supply, uh, but I'm allowed to go not, I'm allowed to go away, it just means their supply, um, they'll be out of supply, which will slow them down, and if they do attack, or get attacked, it's uh, half strength, so they've got to be careful, um, yeah, no, they, they defend at normal, I do believe, it's their attack that they're, uh, thing, so here, what I'm going to do over, um, and yet again, these guys, I'm just trying to, I'm going to stall or slow down. It's going to be ages for me to even get to the border. So what I want to do here, <clears throat> excuse me, is um, basically just protect my supply lines and wait for reinforcements to pop in. That being said, these guys, full steam ahead. I want to try to um, capture uh, the Rementier Hide here. Gold app as quickly as possible. Um, so there's, I can I can see some combat happening. Uh, so what I want to do, hmm, I'm going to use these guys to maybe uh, stall these guys here. Maybe move them up a little bit. But I don't want to uh, lose my cavalry, and I think I'm going to try and pounce on these guys. And swing these guys up into here. Uh, that should help with uh, because the forest will help us with retreats. Um, I'll use the cavalry here to screen this this spot, and uh, hopefully once we se secure that area here, we'll go. We can now then go towards that area and cut off their river bonus. That's what I'm hoping for. So it'll be kill this guy first. You use this um, these guys to. To, to screen to stop them once this guy's gone and we've protected our right flank here we'll then pounce on these two guys that's that that's the hope and we're still really close it's within the six hexes thing for the first six turns for supply so we're good to go um i'm laughing my head off right now as uh, as the russians that's how i personally feel all right so here we go i'm gonna go left to right uh and uh maybe uh do I need to zoom in? Ah, let's just leave it alone. Um, I just got to worry about my supply lines because they can cut off a supply line right now. So maybe I'll leave. Uh, I'll send off one, oh, one to have some fun. And um, I'll leave one here and then we'll, we'll see what goes on because I'm worried about... Uh, I want to know when some reinforcements. But I want to start causing them a bit of grief. But there's no effing way I'm going to attack that. What do you think? I'm nuts? Like, good God, look at this thing. I've got nobody here anyway, so there we go. Um, yeah, makes sense. I'll leave this guy... Well, I'll, I'll put him down here. and I'm, Like I said, uh, you guys watching this may be going, Oh my God, what in the world is he doing? I'm just going with it. All right, so one. And I want to stay away from the German rail as long as humanly possible. Uh... One, two, three, four. But I want to get to them so I don't stop, if that makes sense. Uh, so I'd have to stop. Yeah, I'm not allowed to get on them as far as I know, right? Uh, whenever a Russian cavalry unit enters a hex containing a German rail line, it must stop. So I have to make sure I actually get to it. Okay. Uh... I don't know, I'm a little scared because, remember, they can use rail and they can start nailing me. All these things I have to consider. I, I'm sure I didn't even see half this stuff the first three times I played. Um, and now that I'm seeing it, I'm like, wow, this game is even deeper than I, I, I originally realized. So it's, that's impressive. Um, can you see... Oh, yeah, I can. It's just there's a massive crack in the window, uh, in the screen, so I can't really 
see what, what okay so you can't see them okay so i'm just going to move them off and try to get them uh, uh it doesn't matter they can nail me no matter what it's just that's the way life goes okay one two and what's uh what's the movement for woods forest Crossed enter forest. It's one, so it's oh, okay. That's not too bad then. Um, one, two, three. Yeah. One, two, three. Yeah, I'll, I'll just go to Soldau then. Okay. And I'll put you to Malawa. I know it's maybe you know, like I said, it maybe this is uh maybe not such a good idea what I'm doing. I'm going to move um, one of my guys over here from, uh, I'm going to move the 4th uh, Infantry Division over uh, over to Ostrolenka here, or get get it towards there, one, two, and uh, yeah, we'll just leave them in the fortified positions for now. I, do, I just, um, yeah, I just don't see the point in attacking until I've got a lot of people. It just doesn't make any sense to me here, but like I said, we'll do the thrust this way so it's kind of like the opposite i guess the russians are or no no it isn't no it isn't there was some what am i saying this is uh the full-on this is you know um august 17th so we're we are talking about the initial uh combats that were going on uh near stala putin and and Gumbinin and all that stuff so that's what i, I gotta remember that okay uh still can't see anybody because i'm uh, not adjacent um what do we do with you what do I do with you? I think I'm going to move you up. Yeah. Now, what does Swamp do? Costs two movement points to enter. And um, I'll just remember that. Okay, so we'll go this away, I think. Mm. That'll be one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, I can handle that. And you, what are we going to do with you guys? I think I'm going to move them up. Okie doke. And this cavalry now will start moving like hell towards here. Like I said, this is going to be the biggie. Okay. Um, and remember, as soon as I touch German rail, that's it. Game over. Shit. Because they can start moving on the rail. So I've got to start remembering, though, it's the single and the double track. So the Germans are only allowed to move one division's worth in one direction per turn on a single track. The double track allows them to do two in one direction or one in either direction. Okay, so I'll try to use that to my advantage, um, hopefully. You know what I mean? Like they hopefully can't gang up on me, but they, you know, maybe in both directions they can. I got to remember all these things. Um, but boy, man, I'm telling you one thing. I wish this game had uh, the ability to cut rail. That'd be great, but it doesn't. So I have to deal with it. All right. So one, two. Uh, yeah, I've got this independent dude here. Eh? I'm going to put you here. Uh, I'll put you here. Okay. One, two, three, four. Hmm. Ah, brother. Augustovo Forest. <laughs> uh, just, I'm thinking about the second battle of the Missourian Lakes. Uh, one, two, three. There we go. Okay. All bunched up. Having fun. Okay, guys, let's get a move on. Let's get a move on. Let's get a move on. All right, do I want to flash my... No, I don't. I'd rather do something like this. One, two, three.
three. There we go. And am I going to do combat right away? Yes, because I want to nail that son of a bee up there. Okay. If I can try. Um, so, can I get him up to here? One, two. One, two. Uh, shit. I'd like to... Um, hmm. It's as soon as you hit, as soon as I enter an enemy zone of control, I have to stop. Uh, so I might as well put my 12s in rather than the 10. And I'll uh, use him as a stalling tactic over here as well. And we'll see how that works. All right. But I would like to see what I'm looking at. So, and oh, what does a river do? River's plus one to uh, my movement. Okay. So there we go. Um, so that's one, two, three, four. I want to see what you're doing. And one, two, three, four. So I can flip these guys. Okay, that's what I thought. And what are you? Okay. So I'm looking at the 1st Cavalry Division, way the heck up north of the Neiman River, near Tilsit. And what are you, German 70th Landwehr Brigade? Um, let's see if I can... I'm just going to I'm just gonna try. Sorry about... Uh, like I said, I'll watch this later and see if uh, it doesn't look good or anything. Um, so... Yeah, right over there. All right. Yeah, I don't want to get into. Let's pop him back. Okay, you be good. Now, am I going? I'm certainly not going to attack, but at least now I know what's going on here. Okay, so I'm going to put him. One, two. Uh, yep, I think so. One, two. One, two. One, two. Uh, no, thank you. But I'll put him... Hmm. I'll try to protect my supply line. There we go. All right. So this guy is now revealed, and let's see who we're going up against. And I'll try to bring the camera on over. So that's in the town of Pilka, Pilkalan. Pilkalan. Here, I'll uh, bring it on in. Hold on. See if I can, anyways. Mm -hmm. Hold on. I'm learning, guys. I'm learning. Extremely slowly, sadly. Uh, am I going the right way? Uh huh. There we go. All right. Let's see. Can I bring you on over here? Are you getting there, buddy? You coming? You coming? Huh? I don't know. I don't think so. I think it's not such a good... There we go. Okay. So, yeah, this is uh, not going... It's turning out to be a very good video, I don't think. Shoots and ladders. Oh, well. So, uh, where are you? So that's at Pilkinen, and that's the 36th Reserve... Infantry division, not such a good thing for us. So that's 16 strength points, 12 strength points to 12 strength points, and it's an odds-based ratio thing here. So that's 24 to 16, so that's going to be 1 to 1. Not too good, as you can see. All right, hold on, guys. I want to make sure this thing doesn't pitch over. Um, are you? I think you are. Okay, so hold on. There we go. What is wrong with this thing? There we go. Oof. I do need to learn how to do this gantry thing. Okay, guys, I'm going to pop it back to... Yeah, I think I'm going to have to learn um, a bit more video stuff uh, before I do the German guys. The German move. So hopefully I'm not butchering Sunday... Spence and Gable, or maybe I should just stop and I'll do it next Sunday. We'll see. Anyways, let me get the dice tower out. Good Lord. Um, 
I'll pop it here. Yeah. Okay, so that's one to one odds because, uh, like I said, let's get to the combat and make sure uh, I'm not uh, doing it wrong. Combat. Combat takes place between adjacent opposing units at the discretion of the phasing player. Attacking is completely voluntary. The phasing player is considered the attacker, the other the defender. The phasing player de designates which of their units will participate in the attacks. Totals the combat strength of the attacking unit brought to bear against the defending hex and compares the sum to the sum of the defending thing. And as far as I know, towns don't give you um, any bonus, and they're in the in their and the town is in clear. Yep. So sorry about that. Um, and so that means one to one odds. Not very good. So let's see what happens. A four on a one-to-one. -one. No effect. So that's it. And I butchered the living hell out of this flipping um, bit. But uh, yeah, such is life. I'm going to have to stop it now and uh, recombobulate some stuff for uh, the German one. So bear with me, people.